my viewers are asking me about how to install the oxygen os on my redmi note 10 so let's get started with the oxygen os port so i have found it so let's dig in so here it is so i have flashed the oxygen os which is the port of oneplus 7t for this device as you can see this is running on oxygen os 11 and its device name it is showing oneplus 7t but it's redmi note 10 as you can see this it's totally redmi note 10 and from the processor it is clearly written as snapdragon 78 storage 464 that is base weighted i'm having and the screen size is 6.45 amoled so it is clearly written at the version of android it is running on android 11 which is far better than oxygen os 12. Oh, oh. yeah here it is and if you i'm gonna see that it is having the 2021 10th month first day of the 10th it is having 2021 10 security update it is old but according to the play system it is first february 2021 which is the latest version and the kernel version is used here is net Arnold's version 6 and the oxygen os build number is os 11.0.4 and it is being ported by oneplus 7 device so as for my uh, this concern for the system options from system options you do get the generally oxygen os commands like developer options i have enabled odg support nothing new if you're oxygen os lover and you know that i have been tested first time oxygen os on this room so i'm pretty happy that to seeing this oxygen os first time many options here for the oxygen os so let us see with the wi-fi network i am having my geo sim currently i have turned off my data so there is no worries my geo sim is working fine and you do get a call recording option without any announcement because it is having oneplus free dialer hotspot everything works i have not checked bluetooth display at the display level you get the brightness levels you can increase or decrease brightness according to you advanced notch settings notch display which type of notch do you want it doesn't make any sense because this is the port OS and it is having a punch hole display so you can't get any of the op issues with this and if my uh, personal opinion say that don't touch these settings they will not create any options for your devices vision comfort you can enable it or disable it like if you enable you can see this it is a renamed by a uh, sleep mode sorry reading mode it is named by reading mode so this is nothing changed over there color temperature can increase and dark mode you can enable if i enable manually it sees like this vibrant color effect is there you can enable ambient display does works i have selected ambient display turned on but it works sometimes it doesn't works all the times so save you have to save from here and font size everything is here and if i go to the buttons and gestures there is alert slider option but it is not working due to of the ported room if it's a virtual device then it works for the customizations you can see this is the option of canvas beta i have not clicked any photo that's why i can't use this if i select this uh, spider-man wallpaper and if i going to do a canvas look you can see this how it works so as for now you can see this it is showing up and you can customize it color also and let me clear out layout and you can enable this so from here you can use this with no issues with the icon pack is there hydrogen or oxygen which type of icon pack if your oxygen was no with it you can enable never settle options many options is there if you ask me about the customizations apart from customizations you get many settings for the security i have set up the fingerprint like i used to to check this and it works there is no issues with this it is working so yeah it is a uh, no issues with that it is clearly working ever so apart from the security options i have pre disabled location for the battery interesting fact is here that we know that the custom homes don't fall battery overnight but this room also not make too much of the battery difference at night i have flashed this room it's about 52 percent i slept at the morning i saw this is at 51 percent 
so yeah there is no issues with the battery apart from another video that i have posted earlier in that pixel plus ui you can see this the throttling results the throttling results were worst but in this room you have the throttling results are too much good you can't complain with it and as you can see it is a ported rom so you get a ported uh, applications of oneplus so let us start from the cpu throttle this is not this is the 89 percent performance without the pre-enabled game mode but if you can see this when i enable the game mode it touches up on 95 percent so you can see this there is no issue with this also easily it is working and apart from that you can see this this is the 52 percent of the night time battery and it is the morning one that i got 50 percent so no issues with that also and it is a single core result is 502 not pretty made pretty much good score but yeah as of now it is better to use this scores there is no issue and you can't get any options problem with the performance this is the best level performance that i'm using i'm using most of the custom roms all day but it is now refreshing for me to use this port i'm thinking to use this port and the developer says this is a pre-rooted rom but is not root access not properly installed this device and if you are talking me about ddrm it catches 11 security level so you get no issues with the netflix or amazon prime and safety net issues failed and apart from that, the Play Store is not certified. It might be possible that you can't run banking apps, but if you ask me for the PUBG or BGMI 60 FPS, so let me see you. Uh, let me open Battlegrounds Mobile India. So as you can see, the BGMI is loading and I can tell you it is having 60 FPS working finely and it shows option of the 90 FPS too, but the 90 FPS doesn't work. Let me see you also that. So you can clearly see that 90 FPS isn't working. Skip. And if you click, if I, if I click the, actually I'm not habitual with the bgm because i don't want to play games so i am not interested in the games but for the demand of uh, all the viewers of my channel so that's why i'm uh, checking this and if you like my content please like the video and subscribe to our channel because if you want a much more content from our sites we can give you that content also at the graphics you can see the smooth plus 90 fps but the interesting fact is there if i just open bgmi and you can see this fps meter is not currently opened and i have enabled into the gaming mode so you don't get any issues with that also allow appear you have to en enable from the settings to check the fps i have not allowed but yeah here it is and i have allowed it so it appears on top as you can see 60 fps and the yeah game is working fine sometimes it lags and it restarts whenever it creates a lag or issues so you can't get any issues with that you can play at the PUBG at 60 fps not 90 fps because if it is processor not compatible with the 90 fps but if it is upper than 700 series processor or g95 processors then it will support on the custom norms 90 fps but it is currently pulling at 60 fps so thanks for watching my videos please like the videos there is much more labor is given to make a video for yours so I am Arav and signing off, we'll meet you in the next video.